Quick announcement. I recently came across another creator who makes beautiful 3D printed deck boxes. I am not sponsored. I'm not getting a kickback or anything. I got his permission to post a link to his Etsy store down below. Feel free to go check him out. After the video, of course. I'm hoping to make this a regular thing with creators helping out other creators. Welcome once again to Commander by Damon. While I was debating who the commander for today's video should be, I found myself looking through older videos that I'd done. I remember how much I love this commander, and since I've already done an ultra budget decklist for him, $40 at the time of recording, I decided to go the opposite direction. So today's commander will be Talran Sky Summoner with a no budget decklist. Also, and I know it's annoying to keep hearing this, but statistically, if I don't ask you to like and subscribe, the video gets fewer subscribers. Talran Sky Summoner is a 4 mana 2 2 legendary merfolk wizard. Whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spell, we create a 2 2 blue drake creature token with flying. Talrand is the most straightforward mono blue commander in the game. We cast spells, he makes us creatures. You love to see it. Normally, in a deck like this, you want to run enchantments like Reconnaissance Mission or Kindred Discovery. But remember, for every slot we use up in the 99 that isn't an instant or sorcery, that's one fewer drake that our commander can make. This isn't a Londra Sky Dreamer where all we want to do is draw cards. Talran specifically cares about instants and sorceries, so we'll need to pack as many of those in the deck as possible. Speaking of packing your cards, this video is sponsored by Ultimate Guard. But even long before this channel was sponsored by Ultimate Guard, they were always my number one choice when it comes to sleeves or deck boxes. Pick up Ultimate Guard products at your local game store, or order them on Amazon. Link down below. In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I try to rely on my handy dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. Oh, one more quick announcement before we get started. I'm going to be streaming on Musings by Dana as well as Twitch. It'll mostly be Final Fantasy XIV, but you're more than welcome to pop in and talk about Commander. Honestly, about half my streams are talking about manga, anime, or Commander. For lands, we're running Three Tree City, Reliquary Tower, War Room, Scavenger Grounds, and 28 Snow-Covered Islands. Not a lot, I know, but that's okay. First of all, we're a monocolored deck. Secondly, we're a bit overtuned on card advantage. Our mana ramp consists of Illuge, the Shoreless Sea, Sapphire Medallion, Patchwork Banner, Throne of Eldraine, Thought Vessel, Decanter of Endless Water, High Tide, Jeweled Lotus, Mana Crypt, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Sky Diamond, Solemn Simulacrum, Gauntlet of Power, Extraplanar Lens, Isochron Scepter, and Dramatic Reversal. Of course we're running that combo, what else did you expect? Our card advantage package consists of Ristic Study, Archmage Emeritus, Windfall, Archaeomancer, Mystical Tutor, Muddle the Mixture, Transcendent Message, Solve the Equation, and Echo of Eons. We're also running a pretty good cantrip package in Opt, Winged Words, Anticipate, Impulse, Preordain, Consider, Brainstorm, Ponder, Frantic Search, Telling Time, Peak, Serum Visions, and Gataxian Probe. With this many cantrips, we're supposed to cut a few lands. Our interaction package consists of Into the Flood Maw, Wizard's Retort, Rewind, Counterspell, Negate, Force of Negation, Fierce Guardianship, 
Force of Will, Pongify, Sink into Stupor, Rapid Hybridization, Arcane Denial, Reality Shift, An Offer You Can't Refuse, Snap, Capsize, Swan Song, Unsummon, Mana Drain, Narset's Reversal, and Wash Away. A good mix of counter spells and spot removal. For board wipes, we've got Cyclonic Rift, Aetherize, Spectral Deluge, and Wash Out. Simple and effective. The rather small core of our deck consists of Alondra Skydreamer, Storm Chaser's Talent, and Murmuring Mystic. Not a lot, I know, but they're basically here as backups just in case Talrand becomes unusable. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 50 mana sources, but between 32 lands, 17 pieces of ramp, and 1 MDFC. We probably could have gone a bit higher, but I worry about having less than 32 lands. 23 pieces of card advantage, split between 10 traditional and 13 cantrips. 21 pieces of interaction. 4 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate in Scavenger Grounds and Echo of Eons. 1 sudden eye win card in Capsize. Okay, Dan, and you're going to have to explain that one. Not a problem, dear viewer. We have the obvious infinite mana combo of Isochron Scepter and Dramatic Reversal, as well as tutors to find both of those pieces. Now, once we have infinite mana, we can cast Capsize with Buyback as many times as we want, returning all of our opponent's permanents to their respective hands. And each time we cast Capsize, Talran creates a 2-2 Drake token. We can then just pass the turn and allow our opponents to play their one sad little land for the turn, and then die to our army of drakes. The best part about a commander like Talrand is how many different ways there are to build him. If you're wanting to dip your toes into Spellslinger, sitting back and casting spells to stop your opponents from winning, Talrand is a great starting point. Though, you should probably start with the budget deck I made. Don't worry, you don't have to go track down the video. I'll post a link down below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash You can have a video made or just ask for help building or tuning a deck list. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Brett, Roxy, Sean, Mark, Borgie, Nazwin, Midge, Alex, Conga, Aaron, Chris, Robert, Austin, William, Pye, Turner, Triz, Kazaris, Slack, Dan, Booksu, and Patrick. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.